Um, but why don't you tell us what that subject is that I'm referring to, um, and and how you first came interested in or aware of of Mr. Carhart? Most people do not know, but they mm-hmm. do uh, know more now than they did. But I'll use your word. I stumbled across it. Mm-hmm. Uh, people would ask me from time to time because I'm involved in history. They would say, well, do you know of an English village that used to be in Rock Hill? And I didn't know other than just vaguely I knew that there was one. So I started doing research, and doing research, I found Hamilton Carhart. Mm-hmm. And then um, I really started digging into the old newspapers from the time period that he was here, and then the Register of Deeds and, and Platts and York, and I just... Uh, kept digging through things of Louise Pettis and Paul Geddes and Mm -hmm. uh, people who had uh, searched before me. And I was just so surprised that when uh, the Riverwalk opened in July of 2010, I started immediately that month leading people out to the ruins of the Carhartt Plantation. Mm -hmm. And like you, I stumbled across them too. I I vaguely knew what was there, and just walking through the woods searching, I came upon it, you know, and I said, what is this? This is it. (laughs) Looks like the ruins of a medieval castle. And so then uh, with a tape measure and everything else I could find, I found out exactly every nook and corner of that mansion, you know, down to the breezeway, to the dual fireplaces, the bedrooms, the size of them. and, And so it's just been a exciting journey and the fact that so few people um i can honestly say that i did not and i didn't talk with paul or uh, Way. Barry, yeah mm-hmm. uh, but i never found anyone and i've taken thousands of people on that walk over 11 years i've never found anyone that knew hamilton carhart was in rock hill for a couple of decades Tell us a little bit about Hamilton Carhart, the man, because I don't know if everyone even understands that. We're not, we're talking about the Carhart. When we yes. say Carhart, we mean yeah. the Carhart. So. Yeah, and I understand that logo is one of the most recognized logos in the world, like Coca Cola. You know, it's a yeah. very well known logo. Yeah. His first, his current logo is a square with a kind of a flame in our. Uh, broad C in it. His original logo was a rail car superimposed over a heart, and that was a car over heart, car heart. Huh. And he uh, credited the railroad workers with helping him in his business. He was first um, in the furniture business, and he uh, realized there was a need for heavy-duty work clothes amongst the railroad workers. And so he designed what uh, would help them with their various tools, and they worked closely with him, you know, that they would have a place for everything that they needed and the bib and the pockets and the Mm -hmm. uh, whatever. And he, throughout his life, he supported the railroad workers because he credited them. And that first logo gives credit to them, and the company still supports the Retirement Center for the uh, Railroad. They follow all of the current company, follows all of the core values and standards that Hamilton Carhart set, and they were many. He was a um, man amongst man. He was a rare, caring, giving individual. 